So this is the mesh video. I got a mesh on this car with this guy, a mesh on this car with this guy, and a little thing I learned today. You can mount these in a window by rolling them up part way. And uh, hopefully this doesn't turn into one of those fail videos where we see the windows break. So we're gonna be meshing two cars together uh, at a distance, ouch, I ran into a mirror. And the shop is way over there and they're already meshed and linked. So then we're gonna hop from uh, Marvin's car to Steve's car and we're gonna watch a YouTube video and make a phone call to show just how well these meshes work with Unify. So I have finally at the same time some of these uh, pros and the standard Unify mesh units. And I want to do some comparison for them. So this video is one about meshing, two about the comparison between why you'd want to buy the more expensive one versus the smaller one. Uh, there's a pretty substantial size difference. Spec wise, yes, they're very, very similar, but uh, these devices, which actually are, although being rather large, uh, have more antennas in them, but don't weigh much more uh, than this one here. There's not a substantial weight difference, but to make sure that these don't fly off in a uh, windstorm. They do have a much more solid mount. They are a lot heavier duty in terms of that. Actually, the mount itself is even metal. And I'll, I'll get you a proper review soon of this device itself uh, on its own. But today we just wanna talk about Unify, how we'll set up mesh and a performance comparison head to head with these mounted. And I'm gonna show you how we have this set up for our test bench and how our test scenario, we're actually gonna spend it outside today. It's beautiful out. And then we're gonna talk about how the meshing works and uh, why you would want to mesh or why you wouldn't want to mesh and what the differences are in those configurations to help with your Wi-Fi planning. All right, so let's uh, start with the test scenarios here. So here's our fancy testing rig that we have outside at our office. Happens to be in front of our building are these poles, which are convenient because these are really easy to mount to the poles. Uh, so we zip tied the AC Mesh Pro and one of the standard uh, Unify AC meshes right here. The tags that you see on them are the last two digits of the MAC address. That way when we're connecting and meshing, I understand which one I'm connected to when I'm going over all the screenshots and that later. Uh, this is just a really easy way to do it. Uh, don't ign just ignore the simplicity of it, but it works. <laughs> Uh, so we put them at roughly the same position, but we're not purposely, we're not turning them on at the same time. Because to do a subjective test, if you had them both on at the same time, you create a different issue while they're kind of fight with each other. Because when you're designing a wireless network, don't put two just right next to each other. It's not necessarily going to be the ideal way to do it. Uh, so you don't want one to work against the other one or cause any interference. So we're going to test them each individually. So we'll plug in one and we're going to go all the way across the street and we'll show you the scenario there. Uh, we got to figure out exactly how long that is. I'll know before I get over there. <laughs> then we'll have the uh, distance and we're going to do exactly the same test with both of these at that same distance across the street. So we'll unplug one, swap it to the other, plug it in so our testing zero is exacting as can be. Because one of the problems though with wireless is the th little factors make a big difference and things like that. We are going across the street so one factor we're going to have to wait is for traffic to clear because I did notice in the preliminary testing to set up this video that cars cause about a 4% variance uh, when they go by. Like in the trucks about 5 or 6% when they go by. You'll just watch very small dips in the Wi-Fi. Thought it was interesting. The network's the 4077 because it's a mesh network. M-E-S-H. Spider. Yeah. All right, so we are here across the street and we have it connected. My link is roughly 61% on the link quality measured by WaveMon, which is the tool I'm using here in this. And I'm gonna do a quick ping test because one of the important things is that you have a low ping. And the reason why is because a lot of people, myself included, I like standing outside and using my phone for things like phone calls. And if you have a really high ping time, that's where you'll start having problems with the phone. So ping wise, we're getting no packet lost, 16 packets received, 16 packets sent, and a round trip average. Looks like it's nine. It's hard for me to see the screen here. You'll be, you can see this uh, on the edited version of the video. Now we're going ahead and do a speed test as well. And right now we're testing this on the standard Unify AC mesh. This is not the Pro. So the first sample is going to be with the AC mesh. And we're going to stand at the same place and actually keep the camera rolling here. And uh, we're going to call Marvin and tell him to plug it back the other way. Now this is a speed test across my network. So it looks like I'm averaging about five megs, uh, five megabit back and forth across. So go ahead and call Marvin and tell him to do the switch. Got it. So now we're doing a test of the Pro model. And for whatever reason, it's actually a couple percent lower on the link quality as measured by WaveMon here. 
But uh, let's actually do the test again. So last time we were at 5.8, uh, 4.5 megabits as you see here on the screen. Let's do the same test again. All right, so speed-wise, we definitely seen a big increase here. Now I'm still on the 2.4 as I was for both of these. So even though the link quality as measured by the Wi-Fi device here, uh, we actually see a little bit of a speed increase with the Pro. So that is nice. And that is one of the features that they have on there. So at least we've got a now subjective me standing here with between this distance, between the two devices mounted on the same pole inches apart, turned on and off each time. So there's your first test with the AC uh, Pro versus the standard mesh. So let's go over to the uh, meshing part. So now we're having fun. We got to mesh the cars together. Yes. All right. So we're in the car now and we're across the street and we got Marvin over here with a mesh, Steve with a mesh in a window. Steve stuck it in a window here. And uh, <laughs> oops, sorry. now this is the next step in this is making sure that this uh, works and I have my laptop here and I'm going to go ahead and do a speed test. And I'm going to do a screen check it's really hard to turn recording on and off. Uh, but the reason we're doing it in step by step. So this is a one hop mesh. This mesh that I'm in the car with and Marvin's got another one uh, is doing a test. How fast are we, Steve? 30 megabytes a second. 33. 33. So we're at a pretty good distance from a shop. I'll, I'll post the distance right here because we're going to measure it all after we do the video. Uh, so it's working. It's linked. And uh, you can see the shop right over there. Oh, well, you can kind of see yeah. a shop's way in the distance. But yeah, if it wasn't so blown out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drive this vehicle. Marvin's going to hang out here at the party store. Tough job today, right, Marvin? I know, right? I might, yeah. I might just oh. run in and grab, you know, a little something to put in my coffee. <laughs> 27.9 megabits. I looked at the transfer payload. So what is it? 27.9 megabits per second. Okay. I actually read the, the transfer payload. My yeah. bad. Okay. So now we know the speed at which we're linked and it's working fine. We're one hop in. Now we're going to go two hops in because we're going to leave Marvin here at the party store and we're going to go over a little further away. So it's going to hop from our office to Marvin's car because he has power in his car and then we're going to hop it there. Now the base station is the Pro, the Mesh Pro, and then where each link station are just the standard uh, Unify Outdoor uh, Mesh units. All right, let's roll, Steve. Hello. All right, we're recording, and I got Marvin on a speakerphone here because we're using the VoIP system two hops out. So we've made it across. We're still getting... Um, four to five meg, kind of depends uh, a little bit when we move the car around here. <laughs> um, so we're hopping from the store, which has the Mesh Pro, to Marvin's car, which just has a standard mesh, to Steve's car here, which has a standard mesh. And then we're making a phone call with Marvin. Hi, Marvin. So we've done two hops this time. Jump, jump. <laughs> <laughs> two hops this time. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no latency the phone works perfectly fine because I could talk about like pings and speed and all that's fun but the ultimate is does it work does the latency so yes not only are we meshed and there's a big truck that just went between us that didn't seem to stock it well, that's a big truck uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah wow the uh, fun note that truck is a trailer is made by one of our customers and the truck was probably delivering to one of our other customers Fun note, anyways, <laughs> not to digress. But uh, this is kind of the point, proof of concept of the mesh. So uh, how's my voice sound, Marvin? I, you sound fine. I, I mean, there's, I don't really hear any latency or there's not much cutting out or anything. Yeah, and that's kind of point. If you didn't hear what Marvin said, he can hear me and I can hear him. And uh, it's kind of the proof of concept that can the mesh- Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Uh, let's pull some YouTube up on my phone too. I'm gonna hang up Marvin so I can watch YouTube. <laughs> okay. So um, I, the link speed and link that is not as a big of a deal on my uh, system here. But we will do is uh, let's pull up some YouTube. I, I know this great YouTube channel. <laughs> they don't do Wi-Fi real well, but they have a lot of good tech tips. Oh wait, that's a different channel. Um, but YouTube plays perfectly fine over the mesh. So we can sit here in my, uh, in Steve's car, hops twice. Oops. Watch YouTube and uh, full screen 1080. It's, uh, yeah, 
Okay, now it switched. It took a second to switch to 1080. So do the meshes work? Yes. Do they work really, really well? I'm really impressed with them. Uh, even the car setup that we have, which is weird, but definitely works. So It's an easy way to test the maximum potential distance. Yeah, we push these right to the edge. Ideally, if you're setting these up, you're gonna have them a little bit closer than we do. And we'll put the distances and kind of give you an overview. I'm gonna do a debrief for, uh, after we get back out of the car. Uh, but this is the mesh system and it's I'm really impressed with it. So uh, we've now meshed the cars together. And because I can actually take my laptop about another, what, two or 300 feet away from the car, yeah. Um, I can go way over there in a parking lot somewhere with my laptop and still have it. So these things are uh, definitely really cool. All right, let's jump to the debrief. All right, so let's start with kind of an overview of like a top-down view of how we were doing this. So this is our building. And for the very first test we did, we were standing over here by this bush. Uh, so we were standing in this parking lot right here down in a corner. And then when we got in the cars, this is when we did the speed test from standing with the laptop. Then we went from here to the party store. Uh, which is kind of across the street from us, but that's you know pretty good distance here. Then that's where Marvin was parked, and then our we parked a vehicle over here. And there's the checkers. Uh, we call it Rallies. If you don't know, they're kind of like the same company. Not that that's relevant at all. That's the fast food place that I was joking that I could walk over to and still have Wi-Fi. So we hopped it from here to here to here, and this was the Unify AC Mesh Pro. And this was your Unify AC Mesh, Unify AC Mesh, and me and Steve with the laptop sitting way over here in the parking lot. And in case you're wondering, let me uh, put it down in 3D view. There's that building right there. And there's that building right there in the video that I was, well, I'm still editing now. This is the end part of the video. This is the, uh, so I can finish this up and wrap this up. But it, we are really impressed with how well these worked. Now, this comes back down to which one do you want to buy? Which one is a good decision? Well, if you start with the Mesh Pro, it has a little bit more power, more antenna, so more things can mesh to it, and we were able to get better throughput from that device. So from a planning standpoint, when you're setting these up, they make a really good choice for using as your main primary ones they will mesh with each other. We didn't bother testing that because each one of these that we're gonna put in are gonna be hardlined in. And anytime you have an option of either a mesh network or hardline, always go hardline first. And the reason I'm saying that is because you want always a solid wire connection from the switch, from you know the routing equipment, the switch, to the device. That's the way you're gonna get the absolute best performance. That being said, we know that's not always possible, so meshes are popular. And Unify has done a wonderful job with their mesh. The performance we had off these meshes, especially because we were at the distance greater than they had recommended, uh, you know, for a mesh network and still able to make a phone call. And we had from my phone connected to our network, then went out of our network and called Marvin on a cell phone. So I was using Zoiper for that. No latency issues. Uh, well, there was a slight one when Marvin paused because he realized I was supposed to talk. So I was kind of joking and teasing that he had a brain latency issue there because uh, he was coming up with a proper joke, I guess. But, you know, these two models are great. Now, the thing that I was a bit confused about, and I'm hoping to clarify here, and these are the specs. If you want to see the, you know, the real detail, I'll leave a link here to uh, the devices. They're all listed on Unify's website. Um, but both of these are, you know, outdoor. Both of them are waterproof. They have mesh in the name, but I don't want you to think that that's the only feature they have. They will work as standard Wi-Fi's, or they can mesh. And this is kind of a setup here. By the way, these will mesh too, even though they don't have mesh in the name. And this is kind of a neat thing that Unify has done with their controller software. And this is what makes it that much, you know, just really cool design. So you get your, you know, whatever you have, whether it's the USG gateway or the Unify switch, um, then you have the controller software. And then this is what we were doing as a two hop mesh. So we had one wired and connected and it's what represented Marvin's car. And then this represents the one that was in Steve's car. So now we're two hops out and Obviously, you're going to lose a certain amount of speed. You have, anytime you start going over wired connections, it's not like running standard hardline copper. Um, but even at two hops out, phone calls are working, YouTube at 1080 was working, and we were at a maximum distance. So these are working really, really well. So let's talk about the Unify software and how it's configured. This is really cool. So we had, I added a couple of them to this network for the meshing, and you see the status here it says connected wireless versus connected. And I know it's kind of small to read. It's, uh, I don't think this, I guess it will kind of zoom in. 
Maybe that helps a little bit. Uh, it says connected wireless, connected wireless, connected. The difference is, and we were meshing these together, uh, and what, how you do that, let me just uh, so start over so you close it. So we're gonna take this one here. By default, they don't come this way. And you may have noticed this is not a unified APC mesh. Just like I said, their other devices do support it as well. So we're gonna go here to uh, the mesh Marvin. This is one that was in Marvin's car, config, wireless uplink, allow meshing to other access points. It's labeled as a beta feature, but uh, it works really, really well. So here we're gonna allow meshing. And if you want, you can manually configure the uplink priorities and choose which device you'd prefer it to uplink as well, to as well. Now that's actually a neat feature. That way you could, if you know one's closer, instead of letting it decide uh, which one it should link to, you can do it. If not, it automatically does it, which I think is really cool. Um, when you want to program these, because out of the box, when you first provision them, they don't have that box enabled, uh, you do still provision them the same way. So you're gonna plug them in, get them set up, adopt them into the uh, network, and once they're adopted in a network, you're gonna go into the config, wireless uplink, and turn that on. And once they're turned on and it provisions and it's fine, connected, just unplug the network cable and it works. That's all you gotta do. Nothing else that uh, needs to be done to make that work. So pretty straightforward, uh, works really well. Like I said, the distances we got were impressive uh, at just how far away we were to go with those. And they just, no no problems at all during uh, any of the testing. Uh, you notice this one just got unplugged. They're probably unplugging it. They don't know I'm doing a video. <laughs> um, it's, if you didn't notice from the very beginning of the video, I laid these all out of the desk in our tech area and they also are uh, <laughs> working in that tech area right now. So hopefully this was helpful, give you an idea of the performance that you get with these. I'm uh, really impressed with them. Uh, but despite you know minor uh, differences, they, they're both really good performers. These little ones, I would probably say make, you know, great for the edge settings uh, and mesh them to the bigger Unify AC Mesh Pros, but both of them excellent performance out of there. Obviously with the Mesh Pro, uh, you have a few more features, you get a little bit more thorough, but go check out the specs that they have on there so you can kind of, you know, get an idea of those little uh, details and read through, you know, all the coverage on there. But yeah, these are, top notch and I may do a specific review just on the devices that take a closer look physically at them. Obviously this one also has the dual gigabit ethernet ports um, so you can do bridging and get even more speed than you could get out of uh, one of these but yeah d top notch devices uh, we're going to be doing more we've done some installs we've uh, be doing more installs with these this equipment is uh, solid definitely highly recommended and uh, definitely fun meshing around in cars and creating a, a, <laughs> a mesh of cars working and things like that and if you're wondering part of the fun besides the humor of doing it in a car was also because uh, we wanted to see the distance and it was an easy way hey there's a power adapter in Steve's Jeep so uh, we just kept driving further around until we're like it still works <laughs> and um, that Definitely was impressive uh, how far away we got. So, all right, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully it makes sense to you. Um, get questions and whatnot, comments, leave them below and I'll look for more upcoming Unify videos. Uh, yeah, there's, their stuff's outstanding and they just keep adding cooler and cooler features to it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well because we love hearing the feedback or if you just wanna say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.